We're going to do two rounds of exercises. Um, we're going to do eight different exercises. The first round is going to be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. And the second set is going to be 45 seconds on and 15 seconds rest. However, as always, if in any of the rounds you're feeling like when you get into the end or towards halfway through your exercise, however far through you go in, if you feel like you need to have a rest, do that. Don't like push yourself and like flog yourself silly just for S and C. Do what you're capable of. Do what's comfortable, what's pushing you. And as soon as it starts to get really uncomfortable or really difficult, let yourself have that rest and that breather and make sure that all the exercises you're doing, you're doing correctly rather than just trying to keep doing them incorrectly because you'll end up injuring yourself if you try to just carry on like that when you're really fatiguing. So the first exercise is a slow burpee. So you should hopefully all be able to see me all right. So I know you can't really see my face, but you don't need to at the minute. So again, going down, you can either jump it out and then stand up or you can step it out and then up. So whichever's we're going to be most kind of suitable for you. And again, if you're in a flat and you're in an upstairs flat, you might not want to do the jumping back. You might want to do a step back and forward. That's absolutely fine. That's your call. And um, the next one is a Russian twist. So like we did last week, you don't always need a weight, but if you've got something you can use, maybe not a cat like Andrew was using last week, they tend to wriggle. But again, feet up off the ground, just ever so slightly, and then touching from side to side as you're twisting and trying just to keep your feet and your legs nice and stable there. Um, the next one is a reverse lunge. So again, just alternating as you step back and then up. You just alternate that. Make sure that your foot's traveling back. Your knee on that front leg isn't going past your toe and make sure that knee on the back leg isn't touching the mat. One of the progressions for this, if you want, is to go from a backwards lunge into a high knee and do five reps on one leg and then five reps on the other. Try not to lose your balance like I just did. Um, so yeah, that was, the, that was the third exercise. Number four is a walk out into a press up. So again, just lowering yourself down, walk it forward into a press up and then walk it back. Try not to take your mat with you. Um, again, there's always alternatives. So if you're not super confident with your press ups, you can walk it out, go to your knees, press up and back up. So again, there's always alternatives there. Again, I know some people have got a bit of a dodgy shoulder at the minute. So there, if you want, instead of doing that, you can always do a glute bridge rather than a press up. That's absolutely fine. Um, then number five is pulse squats. So again, just lowering yourself down into a squat about halfway up and then pulsing for anywhere between five and 10, then up, reset yourself and back down. And again, make sure that your bum's traveling back, your back's nice and straight and your knees aren't traveling forward there. And again, that's at your pace. However many kind of little sets or reps you want to do, that's absolutely fine. Number six is a plank with shoulder tap. So again, you want to be in a high plank, feet slightly kind of wider than hip width or hip width apart. Then just nice and slow and controlled, tapping your shoulder. So again, from the front, that should look nice and controlled without that much wobbling. To make it more difficult, you can bring your feet closer together. Or to make it a bit easier, you can go feet further apart or even from your knees and just make sure you've got a nice straight line down your back there. So again, if you are going from your knees, nice straight line. There we go. Then number seven is flutter kicks. So you're going to be lying on your mat for this one. And again, your feet only just want to be off the ground. Make sure your lower back is pinned in and just flip the kicks. So your legs don't have to come all the way up here. Just about a foot or so off the ground. And just make sure that your lower back's pinned in at all times. And then the last one, similar to what we've just done in the core there, is a bear crawl. So we're just going to be going forward and backwards on our mat or in our space. So again, it's almost like a four point lift. And just try to keep yourself nice and low off the ground. Keeping your back nice and straight and keeping your knees about an inch or two inches off the mat. So those are the exercises. I'll talk you through them as we go through. Rupert, just obviously you've still got your problems with your shoulder, I know that. So you've got your walk out, your press-ups, just replace that with a glute bridge. Your shoulder planks go with a V-sit. 
and with a bear crawl, you're probably better off doing a star jump rather than a bear crawl back and forward, just with your shoulder. So I think, I think that's everything good to go. Has everyone got a drink of water to hand? And is everyone good to go? I'm looking, just gonna see, scroll through, check I've got some thumbs up from people. Yep, oh, we all look good to go. Perfect, so you should hopefully be able to hear the buzzer uh, going off. I've put my phone on airplane mode so I shouldn't get interrupted and it should just work flawlessly this week, he says, optimistically. And if you do get interrupted, we'll probably go on for about an hour and a half. Yeah, <laughs> I've realised by that point. But it's only 16 minutes from start to finish, so it's not a long one this week. So we'll be done in no time. So first up, we're going to do slow burpees. Going in three, two, one, off we go. Got that one wrong first time. <laughs> Fine, if you need to take a breather, just take a breather. This is, you do this intensity to what's comfortable for you. Rest, before we move on to Russian twists. If you have got something you can use as a weight, feel free, but if not, just make sure you've got nice steady movements. And off we go. Well done, everyone. Well done, everyone. So we've got a break before we move on to the reverse lunge. And then again, you can add in the high knee if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more. Just make sure you do three to five reps and then swap legs. Going in three, two, one, off we go. It's great, Vanessa, well done. That's perfect, Grace. Some excellent reverse lunges going on here, Stephen. <coughs> Last few. 20 seconds rest before we move on to the walkout press up. Again, if you need to swap this for another exercise like a glute bridge, if your shoulders aren't particularly good, or if you're carrying any injuries. And we're off in three, two, one, off we go. I have to say, this is my least favourite ever, ever, ever of exercises, Stephen. Anything that involves the push-ups is too painful for me. And we're done there. That was tough for me as well. I didn't like that one. <laughs> then we've got pull squats coming up. So again, get yourself into a nice squat position and then just lowering yourself, bring yourself up about halfway and pulse. But we're going in about three seconds. And off we go.
Remember, sets of five or ten, then you're up into standing and reset yourself. That's really good, pal. Well done, Kate. Last five seconds, last few. Well done. So a quick break and then we're moving on to the plank with a shoulder tap. So a nice straight back and nice and controlled movements. And we're off in three, two, one, off we go. Steve McDonnell, are you doing a reverse V sit? That's right, get that backside lower. <laughs> and we're done. So, flutter kicks next, so lying on your mat. And again, your feet don't want to be too high off the ground, maybe a foot maximum, and just alternating as if you were swimming. Just imagine yourself in the med. Swimming to that bar on the other side of the swimming pool. <laughs> Keep your back pinned down. I don't know how you spend your holidays, Alan, but that's your own business. <laughs> I can swim like that in the Dead Sea. <laughs> You can sit on your hands with this one, just to keep your position better as well. Oh, thank God that one's over. <laughs> and the last one is the bear crawl. So again, into your four point lift and then moving it forwards and backwards. Just a couple of paces, or two or three paces forwards then back. And we go. Try and keep your shape nice and square. You're, you're crawling up the mat, Vanessa. So you're moving along the mat. That's it. That's your bear crawl. Oh. It's almost like the four point knee lift, but moving. So that's the first round done. Next round is going to be 45 seconds of effort and 15 seconds rest. So it's going to be tough, but do what you can. Give yourself a break if you need. And off we go. So slow burpees. Last set, Vanessa. And then you can get yourself into the bingo, Vanessa. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh. 15 seconds left. Well done. And rest. Oh, so we've got 15 seconds and then we're into Russian twists. Oh. And off we go. So you've all got the idea as well. If you need to take a break, take a break. That's absolutely fine. Of 
Grace, I might have to come to your house and steal your rubber plant. It looks fabulous. Not that I'm eyeing up people's houses for things to steal. Ah. Well done, everyone. Oh, well done. Well, that one was never only there, Vanessa. So we've got the reverse lunge with the additional high knee if you want. It's really important to work on your technique with these rather than pace, so just go nice and slow and get the technique right rather than trying to do them quickly. Well done, Bethany. Last five seconds. And we're done. Then we're out into the walkout press up. Off we go. Go on your heels, Rupert, if you want to challenge yourself a bit more. One. Oh, dear me. Pull squats next. Last 10 seconds. Oh, well done. Up next, plank, shoulder taps. Three exercises left. And off we go in three, two, one, off we go. Well done, you're really holding the planks well, everyone. Well done. Let's have a break before flutter kicks. Nice and slow with these. We don't need to do them quickly. 
so six to 12 inches off the ground. David staring straight at the camera. God, well done. Last one. One more to go. Bear crawls. <laughs> Getting yourself on your mat in a nice square position. Ready to go. That's it, well done. This is probably a good one for boomerang, Stephen. I mean, back and forward on the bear crawls. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, well done, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. unmuted yeah. now, so you can go. Oh, that was hard. That was hard. You enjoyed it, Vanessa, I could tell. The smiles on your face were just glorious. I'm not good. <laughs> right, if everybody wants to give me a smile and a wave, I shall take a photograph. If Christian can get himself off the floor. Vanessa needs this for her bingo. <laughs> <laughs> right, give us a wave, give us a smile, and there you go. Got you all. I shall share that with the um with the session. I'll send that on to everyone.